Hi, my name is Thomas. We're gonna show you how to move this platform up and down. So let's jump in Unity. Okay, so in last video I show you how to move the platform left and right with the code. And in this case, I will show you how to use that with animation. And if you'd like to see how to move that with the code, I'll just leave the comment below and I show you the code because it's very easy to change that from the last video I show you. So I have ready platform, so we don't need that code. So let's remove that. I always need a sprite render and some graphic for that. In this case, I'll use this one. I need rigid body, kinematic, freeze the Z rotation and some collider. I'll use the polygon collider. Okay, because we're gonna use the animation, so I need animator. Let's add the animator and I'll make some folder just for the tutorial. I will call that just delay to remember to remove that after from my game. And what we need else? Uh, animation controller. Let's call it plot up and I need to create the animation. So let's go from here, select your object and create animation. Move to your location where you want that and call it how you want that because I will delay that. I just write delay. Okay. And now I need to change that. Oh, it's generate itself with the name on this, but I don't want that. Select the object and set the set up the control animation and now with the selected object we go to animation add it to the animator and double click make sure it have the loop because if you don't have the loop you just go once and didn't repeat and go again again up and down now we're going to animation and we need to create some animation here yes so we need to press the red button to record the animation and let's start with the position i'll take that minus one and whenever you finish the animation you have the same location like here you can just copy that with ctrl c and let's say after 40 and control V, paste it. And somewhere in the half, I will make this platform go up. Let's say here. And now you see the samples. We need to change that value because now 60 is gonna be very fast. Like you see here, it's much, much too fast. Let's say maybe six. I didn't press enter. To press enter in, in other case it doesn't work. Oh, looks much better. And maybe let's go four. Okay, so we'll see that in the program. I didn't remove my old platform. This one is made with the code and in this case, this is gonna work much better, but I just wanna show you how to use the animation. Okay, so let's run the game. You always can change the speed, but let's jump on the animated one. If you go up, it's work very well. But when you go down, you see the character have some wee bug, some with the jump. If I go to the platform with the code made, it don't have any mistake and it's look much, much softer and better. So let's jump again here with the animation. You see the character is shaking. 
but I will show you one more thing. So let's remove this animation, make new one. If you want to use that for the left and right with the animation instead of the code, you can use that as well. Let's say minus three and minus seven position here. change that for a moment so duplicate that paste control V and somewhere in the half I will move the platform right remember to keep the reckon button on and now we change the sample for something like 4 enter and let's see the animation or it's maybe too slow. No, I think it's too slow. Let's make it six. Okay, and then jump to the program and see how this works. So you see, now we have platform moving left, right, and now we don't have the problem with the jumping character. So for the platform using up and down, I will use the code, but if you wanna go left and right, it's very easy to do it with the animation. I think the platform with the code is better for when you use that for up and down, because you use the update or fixed update and the move is much smoother and better. So that's all for this video. Hope you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave your comment below what you think about that. See you next time. Cheers.